What's going on YouTube? Earth Power here, bringing you guys a deck profile. So, the deck I have for you today is Five Mystics Dot Deck. OTK. Uh, it's like literally version 1.0. We've tested a couple games. I think it won a game against Rush and it lost the bugs pretty hard. But, uh, pretty, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's definitely for fun, guys. It's flavorful. Yes, it's a very fun deck. I mean, if you're looking to just have some fun at your dull days, uh, go for it there. I wouldn't suggest this for like a KMC or anything yet. Uh, I was dialoguing with CVH, he's on camera by the way, it's okay. um, about like the idea behind these. And I'm sure there probably is a way to build this to where like you can generally get them to work. But in testing, what I guess I sort of noticed was that you can never really get more than like one or two on board safely. It's like you just need five turns of them doing nothing so that you can summon one after another. Because they literally, they're just mono sieve cards if you're just summoning them by themselves. Luckily, like, if you stabilize against Rush, that's exactly what you get. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. So, but here's the list that we're running with. Uh, it's three of Remember Mystic, except for the fire one, because you don't necessarily want to be using his effect too much, and he's definitely the most expendable. His effect is um, mandatory if you cast a fire spell. Yes, so we went down to two on him. Um, I guess... If you wanted to, you could run three, but just running two for him. And like I said, it's very rare that you get multiples of these out at the same time, which I guess defeats the purpose of the deck, but he's like the least favorite of them all. Um, the rest of the creature lineup is literally just blockers and a necros to get stuff back and have neat synergy between the nature and the uh, water mystic. But uh, three strider, three lemon, one owl, and then one necros. Mm -hmm. Um... And right, just so multi spells. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the uh, multi sieve stuff is two piercing, one reverberate, uh, reverberate. Uh, it's a 50 card deck, so reverberate just kind of gets you there, hopefully, mm -hmm. to uh, the rest of your mystics. And you can search for it with like six cards and use the light mystic to get it back from the grave. Exactly. And then uh, same thing with uh, piercing judgment, searched by the uh, water mystic, and you can grab it with light mystic as well. No mono light cards. Except for Light Mystic, of course. Except for Light Mystic. And uh, thinking about like Storm Spark in this just for another blast, but. Uh, or Andromeda. Yeah. That, <laughs> that time will come if we actually decide to, uh, you know, try something again with this deck here in the near future. But um, three memory because it searches your mystics. Uh, I think it's kind of necessary in something like this where you're trying to get pieces of a deck together. Uh, three mesmerize because it's literally the only thing that'll save you against like bugs and control. Uh, if they get laws out, this uh, you're just gonna have the worst uphill battle of your life. Like mm -hmm. there's just no good way because over half the stack is spells and literally no way to really deal with laws unless you summon the Strider or the Lemon and can follow with the Piercing. And even then they're drawing a card and it's just not the greatest thing in the world. Um, two Snake Trap, which has some neat synergy with the uh, Mystic of Darkness. You can uh, wipe off Hive Queen if you have like any of the Mystics except for the Water one. Um, or like well, you already have the dark on field, so yeah. Can... So like you can snake trap on their hive queen, drop it by two thousand. Mystic of darkness drops everything by two thousand, and then you can like bump with the mystic of darkness, and then maybe get it back with necros, hopefully, or something cool. Uh, Value town. Yeah, and then two bone blades, three terror pit, uh, just more blasts because you need it because defense. Since yeah. you're not running any relevant creatures. Um, two absolute incineration because they kill. Almost everything except for the fatties, which tear pits there to hopefully deal with, or multiple laws, which will kill you. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, I mean, this doesn't even deal with multiple laws really. I mean, it deals if they have a laws and you can kill something else and then kill their laws, that'd be great. But the two laws, it's just over. Yeah, it's, it sucks. So. <laughs> but uh, two incineration, two drill storm, two tornado flame, just again adding to your blast count. Uh, one of the cool cards in here is Swift Regeneration, just because it can grab you any one of your Mystics from the Mana Zone, which is pretty neat. And then uh, it makes all of your creatures unkillable for that turn. So if you've got like two or three Mystics on board already, you bring one back with Swift Regeneration. And then if you've got the fifth one, they can't kill any of your other three or four the next turn. So, you know, you just hopefully can drop game that following turn if it happens. Solid stuff. Um, but again, very rarely since it's again so hard to get these out. <laughs> Probably good in the uh, control matchup more than this matchup. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, three sprout to uh, kind of just get you to your mystics. Uh, sprout into mystic of nature is kind of cool, just because he's big as hell. Um, and then two tendril graphs to clear off weenies and stuff like that. It's kind of like your mass kill early on. So besides like the lack of tier one cards like Swarm Spark and Andromeda. Yeah. 
it's got all the basic pieces. It's yeah. still huge because it kind of has to be running a lot of the. Uh, yeah, I mean you're sticks. you're running fourteen to fifteen cards that are just there to accomplish one thing, and that's your win condition. This deck doesn't win any other way. I mean, sure you can maybe like summon multiples of these and just kind of start picking away at shields. We built it because we wanted to only win with the combo. <laughs> yeah, but there's really no advantage to swinging with them. So, but interesting concept. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions or you played around with this deck yourself, uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about it. Make sure you take it to your next KMC. We guarantee you will top eight. No, I don't <laughs> listen to them at all. But uh, it's it's definitely very fun. I definitely suggest you know toying around with it at your dual day. Uh, and I'm sure there's definitely kinks and stuff that we still have to figure out. Like I said, things you notice early is that you're not running Andromeda, so shield regeneration is bad. Uh, you don't have any real way to get rid of laws or deal with laws effectively, um, which I guess you could add Storm Spark in there to deal with. And then uh, other than that, I mean, it's just sort of dealing with all the tempo that normal decks have to deal with, mm -hmm. but uh, have better tools too in the form of their creatures. So yeah, like I said, let us know what you think. Comment Probably down below if you played around with it. Leave a like if you uh, enjoyed this. Uh, something a little different, you know, a little takeaway from all the competitiveness that's been going on. Uh, try to get you guys a little more uh, content. We are going to the ARG KMC in a week. And so, we're going in two weeks, too. Yes, ARG is holding a circuit series in yep. Richmond. And I will be head judging it. That is Richmond, Virginia, guys. Yes, Richmond, Virginia. Sorry about that. No problem. There's a lot <laughs> and, uh, of Richmonds. Yeah. So Richmond, Virginia, the ARG circuit series will be taking place. They'll have 1K plus in prizes. Uh, uncut right. sheet. I believe they're giving away a sieb bag. Yes, yeah, Sunday. Well, that sieb bag is at uh, the, uh, the actual KMC. And the uh, circuit series is going to be on Sunday. Yes. So be sure to check that out on Sunday, Ultra April Games. 28th, I believe. Yeah, so. something like that. So be sure to check it out on Facebook and you know message me or Carl if you have any questions about the event. Yeah, for sure. And the uh, link for that will be down below. So check mm -hmm. it out. And then uh, other than that, guys, uh, we'll uh, hopefully see you next time. Peace. Peace.